My name is Matt McGann. I'm the Director of Admissions here at MIT. MIT is a research university uh, in Cambridge, Massachusetts uh, that has a mission to use science, technology, and other analytical disciplines to solve the important problems of the world. MIT has a mission of focusing on, pro uh, of, on problems that are analytical in nature, science and technology for sure, but also in the social sciences and architecture uh, and other areas uh, like that. Uh, so the problems that we focus on here tend to be things like uh, energy in the environment, the world's energy crisis, on things like global poverty, on things like uh, cancer and related diseases. Uh, all of these problems certainly have their roots uh, and many of their solutions in science and technology, but also have important uh, social and cultural aspects to it as well. So uh, at MIT, we're going to look for a variety of things in a student's application. So one of the first things we'll think about is the students match their fit with the MIT mission and the MIT culture. We also uh, have a culture that is very collaborative. We want to bring people together to solve problems rather than doing it on an individual basis. So we do think about students that are uh, showing their talents in a way that is not only individual but working together with others. And sometimes that's on academic projects we see that. But we also see it through uh, activities and group projects outside of the classroom and that can be very important for us. Uh, MIT also has a, a motto, which is mind and hand. So the idea of the education here is that there's the mind, the theory, but also the hand, the hands-on and practical. And we are looking for students who are excited to learn both the theory, but also to put that theory into practice. Uh, that can involve some risk-taking and some taking of initiative, and those are important qualities that we look for as well in the application process. This year uh, we received uh, a little bit over 20,000 applications and we admitted uh, as of today uh, 14, uh, just over 1,400 students uh, and we're looking to have a class of 1,100 students in total. The undergraduate student body is uh, about 10% international students uh, and there are more graduate students uh, also who are international students. And once we admit them as the admissions office, we have a separate partner office, the Student Financial Services Office, that seeks to make sure that every student that we think is a good match for MIT can afford to attend the university. So even the poorest students on the planet, we're making sure that we're giving those students the resources to be able to attend this place. At MIT, we admit students to the entire university, and all students come in undeclared in terms of their major. And what we want to do is to identify students that we think can succeed in any program at MIT. And during the first year, we expose students to all of the different kinds of work that we do here. And some of it is very familiar to students from their work in their secondary school. So students do math and biology and literature in high school, and we have those things here. But many of the things that we offer are not things that students have much exposure to. Uh, things like material science and nuclear engineering and linguistics are fields that are very important at MIT, but very few students have exposure to before they arrive at university. So we'll allow students to learn about all of these different fields and figure out how they can best use their skills and talents and interests to come to bear on any of these kinds of problems and any of these areas of academic interest. So a student doesn't have to know exactly what they want to do. And in fact, in some ways, it's best to not be too set in, uh, in, uh, in a particular path. Because at MIT, there are going to be many different paths, and we hope that students will explore many of them. We encourage students to join research projects that are collaborative, often led by one of our professors, a faculty member here, but with a whole team of people all contributing to try to 
understand Alzheimer's disease or to develop self-driving cars or to develop the next generation of the World Wide Web. We want people to come together, share their ideas, their talents to put that together. And we think that when people come together to solve these problems, that that's the way that we can best achieve our mission of solving these important problems.